Now we'll talk about powers of 10. And powers of 10 are important because we have a base 10 number system. So they end up being not only important, but also being pretty easy. And we'll just go through the list here, and you'll immediately see the pattern. 10 to the power of 0 is 1, and that's because anything to the power of 0 is 1 by definition. 10 to the power of 1 is 10, because 10 shows up here as a factor one time. And anything to the power of 1 is just that thing. So 10 to the power of 1 is 10. 10 to the power of 2 would be 10 squared, which is 100. 10 to the power of 3 would be 10 times 10 times 10. 10 multiplied by itself, and we see it there, 10 times 10 times 10. It shows up three times, so that would be 1,000. 10 to the power of 4 would be 10,000. And you get the idea. 10 to the power of 3 is a 1 followed by three zeros. 10 to the power of 4 is a 1 followed by four zeros, and so on. We could continue this pattern indefinitely. 10 to the power of 50 would be, I'm just going to write this. I'm going to write 1 followed by 50 zeros instead of writing them all out. Although you could write out 50 zeros if you want to. You would want to put commas in there starting on the right in groups of 3. But that's a big number. Writing it this way, 10 to the 50th, is a lot more convenient than writing out all those zeros. It's also a lot easier to read and a lot easier just to tell how many zeros there are there because you can just look at the exponent and see that there are 50. Now, one particular power of 10 has a special name. That's 10 to the 100th is called a Google, G-O-O-G-O-L. Notice that that's not G-O-O-G-L-E. That's G-O-O-G-O-L. And apparently, there was a mathematician who was thinking about this number, just because it's this nice big number, and it was just interesting to him. And he was thinking that a, a number like that ought to have a name. And so he asked his kid what he thought it should be named. And his kid was like only one or two years old or something like that, and just kind of made this little noise that sounded something like that. So he called it that and referred to it that way, and the name has stuck since then. So people refer to this as a Google, 10 to the power of 100. That's just what they call it, a Google. And that's a big number. That would be a 1 followed by 100 zeros. That's an astoundingly huge number. That's the number 10 multiplied by itself repeatedly 100 times.